Hi, this is Chad with NoviSign, and today we're going to go over our management options for sharing zones and content with sub-users within NoviSign's digital signage software platform. So to get started, I will log in to our content management portal on NoviSign.com in the upper right. I'm selecting the login button. Here this brings up our online studio. I'm going to open up an existing template. And let's say, for example, I would like to share a specific zone or section with another user. So I've got here a text box scrolling ticker that I want to get over to, let's say, someone at the front desk or receptionist. But I don't want them to be able to change anything else. So I'm going to click on the zone, select the person, the little share icon here. I'm going to click add, and I will enter in their email address. Hit OK. It gives me some options. So I can change the appearance of that box. I can check off if I want them to be able to move or resize the box. And I can check off the ability for them to only change the text. So if I select the user, hit OK, what that does is it will share this specific template with the user, other person, and more so, it will limit them from changing the other zones, meaning they'll log into the template and they'll only have access to the text ticker zone that we shared with them. Why is this good? Well, it eliminates the need of you having to worry about if they delete the whole template and calling you back saying, hey, I deleted it, please fix it. So that's the first thing. Um, second thing is this gives you granular control as to what section or zone you want other users to have access to and change. Let's go over uh, a couple of other ways that you can use um, the share section. Let's say maybe you're a restaurant and uh, you want your uh, manager to only have access to the items. So got here one of our, our tech sections with the items. So I'm gonna select that, hit share, hit add, and enter in the information, or the username rather, right? Email address, okay. And if I check off change text, remove it. And again, I'm basically just limiting them access to what they have access to. Um, same thing with media. So if you want them to be able to only change a video, click on the video zone, hit share, add. I can type in the name and it gives me what change the video, move it, resize it, what have you. So that's our first option. Uh, the second option that we have is using our management console. What is a management console? It is a pl platform that lets you create users, assign licenses, and also put it together so you can limit what they can actually do within the account itself. So I'm accessing the management console right now. And let's get this going, hit log in, there we go. And so I've got here a spreadsheet view and it's broken down. So I've got my users, first name, their last name, their email, the licenses, when it starts, when it expires, uh, how much storage they've used, how much they have left, the time they la la uh, last logged in. Um, to create a new user, I'll hit create user. I can enter in their information, so their login, their email, their phone, when their license starts. I can also grant permissions to create, delete, delete a player, what have you. Uh, you can assign licenses as well, so how many licenses you want each user to have. Um, how much storage you want that specific account to have, uh, then pop in their information. Then this box here says send mail to user. Basically what that does is you check that off and whoever the account is created for, they'll get an email saying, hey, your account's been created. Uh, click here to uh, get started and create a password. So the ability to create users within the management console is very straightforward and it gives you full control over um, management of users, um, especially if you have lots of screens, lots of locations, users, what have you. Um, another thing to make note of is the ability to set up accounts 
um, that would be audit only in the sense of you have a user, but you want to be notified when a change is made so you can review it and approve it. So if you check off the audit button, that is setting them up so someone would be notified that there's a change. Once you check it, you can enter in up to three email addresses that you'd like uh, to, uh, you know, people to receive notifications of the changes to review and approve. So that's a not, not another very nice uh, feature. Um, outside of that, the ability to access um, the users is included as well. So I've got here, let's say, uh, Golden Crust. So if I select Golden Crust, I can enter their account. So I'll just type in the password here, hit OK. And I'm in their account. It says user, who they are. And then if I want to get out of it, I just simply hit the X and I get out of it, taking me back to the management console. So from the ability of being able to simply share zones for basic control uh, of specific things, we have that included natively with no sign. Then for larger scale opportunities that need uh, you know, the ability to create users, admin level controls. We have this um, feature available within the management console. You can give NoviSign a try for free, 30 days, by simply signing up on our website, NoviSign.com, and selecting the start using NoviSign. No credit card is needed, 30 day trial. If you have additional questions, email info at NoviSign.com. Thank you.